Miraculous Memory Loss Part 2 A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction Story and Audio by Snowflake and Clover YouTube Channel A little over an hour later, Marinette and Adrian were standing in front of the Dupain Bakery. Marinette shifted from foot to foot. How would her parents react? She could tell a lot of time had passed since the bakery had a newer coat of paint and a different logo. It looked as if she had made it, but she couldn't be sure. Adrian squeezed her hand. I'll do the talking. Just remember not to mention we are superheroes, okay? Okay. Marinette nodded and opened the door. Hello? Marinette, where have you been? Mrs. Dupain asked. Adrian stepped forward. She hit her head and lost all of her memories for the past few years. What? Both of Marinette's parents exclaimed. Mum, Dad, do you mind if Adrian goes to my bedroom with me? Oh, okay, sweetie, just don't hit your head again, all right? Promise. They headed up the stairs. Marinette opened the trapdoor and stepped into her room. Wow. She couldn't believe her eyes. Her bedroom was different. First of all, she had Adrian's face plastered all over her walls. She had loads of designs finished or waiting to be finished, and there was a balcony. I have a balcony? Adrian watched her in amusement. Her bedroom must have been different before, huh? He looked around for himself and noticed a lot of pictures on the wall, all of which had his face. His eyes widened, but he tried to think nothing of it. Marinette sat down and turned on her computer. It still had no password, and she looked at her background. Adrian? Adrian with hearts? Her face went red, and she tried to turn it off before Adrian noticed. Unfortunately, he already had. Adrian was convinced she had a crush on him, or at least she once had. She probably didn't now. His face was a picture of shock and confusion. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. Marinette looked up at Adrian, then quickly looked away. I guess I had it bad for you. As she said this, Adrian's entire existence died. She was admitting she once liked him. Hmm, I'm going to see what other stuff I did these last two years or more. She said the last part with a pained expression. She opened the chest and then gasped. N no way. I'm, I'm absolutely crazy. Why? He walked over just in time to stop her shutting the chest. What is in there? Um, come on, what's in there? Marinette could feel her arms weaken. She let go of the lid, which made Adrian fall inside. The chest was huge and filled with gifts? What is so embarrassing about a ton of presents? Marinette's face reddened. You, you see, um, uh -huh. she couldn't take it anymore. I made gifts for 50 of your birthdays. Marinette covered her face and sank onto her knees. She was so embarrassed. Why? Why did she have to have a crush on Adrian, of all people? You what? Adrian was shocked and touched at the same time. No one had cared about him that much. Sure, there were loads of fangirls crushing on him, but they only wanted his money and fame. He climbed out of the chest and saw Marinette sobbing on the ground in front of him. Hey, Mary? Yeah? Marinette looked up with a tear-stained face. I wish I had realized you liked me before you lost your memories. As he said this, Marinette's face changed. Look, if I loved you once, I can love you again. That is, if you want me to. Adrian couldn't believe it. As far as she was concerned, they had only just met. She was already admitting she could love him. I would love that, milady. He leaned over and kissed her forehead. I've got to go now, but I'll be here in the morning to take you to school. He stood up. Plague, claws out. See you later, princess. Shat waved and jumped out of the window. Marinette was still sitting on the floor dazed. Adrian had kissed her. She could feel her face burn. He knew she had a crush on him. Her head spun. It wasn't fair. Why could she not remember him? Why? Marinette, Tiki was floating in front of her. Can I please have something to eat? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Tiki. Marinette got up and opened her trap door. What do you like? Macaroons? Croissants? Anything sweet will do, Mary. Tiki disappeared into the dollhouse. What a day it had been. She couldn't wait to see Adrian again tomorrow. End of part two. To be continued. Subscribe for more.